Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Biking Roots channel. Fellow um, ro Rooters, Rooters, Roots, Rooties. I don't know. I don't know what the name for you guys are, but hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for watching. And we're Biking Roots Bike Shop out of Spring, Texas. Today, we have some exciting news. For one, we have a uh, random guy arbitrarily acting like he's organizing things. <laughs> so this is Andrew. So we have a couple guys that have joined us. Our, we have Tim, who is, I think Tim's in school still. We'll call him the kid. The kid, the kid. The Grom. The Grom. We can call him the Grom. Anyway, so Tim is in school now, so we don't see him as much. Um, Scott's flying airplanes somewhere, but Andrew is our newest addition to Biking Roots, so welcome, Andrew. And Elise is back there. You've seen Elise. She just got a new haircut today, so Thanks, she's Matt. looking nice. Thanks to Matt, our uh, <laughs> fellow mountain biker and uh, haircutter here in Houston. So today we're talking about bikes, of course, because this is a biking channel. And today we have a new bike we're going to talk about. So we're talking about a new Alpine Trail. So here's the new, here's the old one, which is, wait, not this one, sorry. Uh, the, where's the, oh, we brought it up front. Not here. So here's the old Alpine Trail. So those that know, this was the one that was for a few years uh, before they redesigned it. Uh, they didn't do a whole lot to it for 2021, but they did slacken it out a little bit more. Instead of 65 degrees, they went to 63. And they also went a little, uh, less slack or straighter in the uh, steer tube uh, for the new gen. Uh, we don't have one or else I'd show it to you. Um, I'll show you a picture of it, but uh, they've been really popular and we haven't been able to keep any in stock. So, uh, but today we have the new gen, which Andrew's actually going to, uh, we have a frame that he's going to build and he has some pretty cool parts. So we are going to get it built and Hopefully ride it soon. I don't know when actually we're gonna ride it, but we'll at least get it built today. All right, so here's the new bike. Um, it's in here somewhere, um, you wanna pull it out? So here it is, the new Alpine Trail Carbon. So this is the Alpine Trail Carbon 2. Comes with the Fox DPX2, which we are probably gonna change out. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna change it out. Did you, did you decide what you're doing, EX2? The, no, the Super Deluxe Coil. Super Deluxe? Yeah, uh, I, need order, I need to order that then. And then we have some cool parts up front here. So yeah, so this is the new frame. It looks pretty cool. It's nice and not super colorful, but if you're not into color, this is a good, nice option for you. So this has a carbon front uh, front triangle and then it uses an aluminum rear triangle. Uh, we'll go over all of it, all the specs, but let's get to building it and uh, we'll see when it's done. All right, the fork is on the Alpine Trail. So Andrew went with the uh, Bomber Z1, and then you put on, well, we'll talk about it. He's got the Grip 2 damper, so it's like a Fox, what do they call it? Fox Oki? Fox Oki. Fox Oki. Fox Oki. So almost done. We got the cables ran, and derailleur, brakes, fork, so he will continue building it. The day is beautiful here in Houston, and when you have a nice day and the trails are open, you take advantage of it. We're closed today, and we weren't gonna ride, but now we are gonna ride, and so I need to grab a bike, and we're headed to a trail that I actually haven't been to in a while. So let me go grab a bike. All right, time to grab a bike. Oh, garage is messy, don't judge. So I could ride one of the kid bikes, Elise's bike, no. Wolfridge is for sale, so I'm not going to ride that one. Two steel, hardtail, two steel. Aha, the old, the last gen Alpine Trail. I think I found what I'm going to ride today. Off to go pick up Andrew and off to the trails. All right, Alpine Trail loaded up. Time to go. All right, we got Andrew and his Alpine Trail Carbon 2. A while back we filmed about his build on this, but we never actually took it out. Well, he wrote, he's been writing it, but we never did a little video on it. So today, old Alpine Trail, and we got the new one, the carbon version. All right, we'll get them loaded up and hit the trail. All right, Sugar Land. I don't really know where to park. I think I parked over here last time. How's it going? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's fun. This is 
I'm getting excited. Oh. You got that Dirk Kaiser up front. Trail Kings. Woo! No 800 bars here. Oh, snap. Oh, Billy. Woo! Oh, my God. oh, yeah. That was fun. You gotta pedal up this stuff. Uh, okay, baby drop. Whoa! He's not letting me catch my breath. I've already worn out. Oh, Alpine Trail's fun. Sugarland's a lot of fun. I wish it was closer to uh, our neck of the woods. Hey, you gotta ride up those. No walking. <laughs> Andrew's already worn out. You want me to film you down there? Uh, you can if you want. All right, I'm gonna go film him down there. I don't think I'm gonna hit this one. Woo! All right, Andrew. Ten number notes. Nice. I hit that last one nice. <laughs> Probably should have brought some water. Worn out. Andrew's in better shape than me. He ran 10 miles yesterday and I did not. Up on trail, previous gen, a lot of fun. Here's the new gen. Nice. Woo. Here we go. Not a bad line. That was nice. All right, so we were gonna do a video with the uh, the newest Alpine Trail 7, but I haven't been able to keep any in stock. So the last gen was still pretty sick. This one had a 65 degree head tube angle, had a little bit slacker seat tube angle. And then for 2021, they slackened out the head tube and then they steepened up the seat tube. This one is the Alpine Trail Carbon 2. They actually have, okay, so they have, how many Alpines we got, four now? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so we got the Alpine Trail 7. You have the Alpine Trail XR. XR. Wait, well, no. Yeah, XR in aluminum. And then you got the two carbons, the Carbon 1, which I'll throw a picture up here. And then you have the Carbon 2. This is what Matt Jones rides. And, uh, and this is the frame only option. Yeah, probably, frame only. For this colorway. So what uh, what did you decide to put on it? Well, we put the Marzocchi fork. Grip 2 damper? With oh, a no. grip, it has a grip 2, yeah. It comes with a grip 2 or you put it no, in? No, I put it in there. Okay, the grip 2. Um, just Chromag stem, Chromag carbon bars. Nice. Uh, Hayes Dominion A4s. You love those brakes. Four piston, yeah. They're <laughs> my favorite brakes I've ever ridden. There's a lot of good brakes. These are really good. Loam lever. Oh, yeah. Loam yeah. post. Loam post, loam lever. Um, the power saddle, whatever it's called. Onyx hubs. So they're silent. Yep, uh, exactly. Instant engagement. Look at that. Instant. Um, and they don't make any noise. We are one carbon rims. Mm -hmm. Those are handmade in Canada. And then carbon XO1 cranks, GX derailleur cassette, 
DMR vault pedals. Nice. And uh, ergon grips. So you've ridden a lot of bikes. What do you think of the carbon, the Alpine Trail? It pedals really good, especially for where we're at. It feels nimble. It's got really short chain stays, so you can turn really yeah, good. Short. These are what, 425s? A four, or 430, but 425, still, 430? I think 430, but that's still pretty short for a 29er. Yeah. Um, I like the shorter chain stays. Especially, yeah, for a kind of do-it-all bike for Steep me. Seat tube. Yeah, it keeps it snappier in like tight, pedally corners. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty light. I mean, especially because a lot of big enduro carbon bikes nowadays are real heavy. Yeah. yeah so, so not, not that bad. that's a huge factor, but we pedal a lot here. All right, we're going to keep riding. Ah, something just flew in my ear. <laughs> Dang it. Why is that happening? That was clean. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my. There he goes again. If he doesn't have jumps, he starts doing silly things. Not even looking, you crazy. <laughs> no, that's not bad. I could have done it. <laughs> oh. Ooh. My legs are dead. <laughs> oh, I have no legs. Oh yeah, a berm. <laughs> okay, send it off here, Red Bull. <laughs> this other GoPro decided to quit working. So, anyway, all right, Sugarland kicked our butt. I'm a. Uh... Oh, now you're working. We are done. Uh, fun ride on the trail kicked our butts uh if you're in the sugarland area and you haven't ridden this trail definitely check it out this video is basically about the alpine trail carbon so yeah super fun bike if you can find one um we have some on order i believe but uh, i don't know when we'll get them we have some carbon ones on order also some alpine trail xrs and sevens i just don't know when we're gonna get them but they are gonna come someday thanks for watching if you like the video hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content from biking roots and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.